Hello, it's Jeanette with Geomazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with another video tutorial, and this time I'm going to be making this little monochromatic square card. This card measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I've also made a custom envelope for this card because I can't find a four and a quarter by four and a quarter envelope or an envelope that would fit that card. Everything was a little bit too big. Or too small so I've decided to design my own and I'll show you how I made this envelope too but isn't this pretty I'm using three different stamp sets elements from three different stamp sets to uh, to make this card and black and white my favorite combinations <laughs> so if you would like to learn how to make this card just keep watching so let's make our envelope first and we're going to start with a sheet of just regular copy paper or if you want to make a really uh, nice uh, sturdy envelope I would suggest finding some paper that's a little bit thicker and what I found is uh, this HP it's premium presentation paper I found this at our office supply I think it was Office Depot and it is 32 pounds and it makes I bought it because I want you know nice sturdy envelopes but it really does make sturdy envelopes so we're gonna start with a sheet that measures six inches by nine and three quarters of an inch okay and we're gonna get out our simply scored scoring tool okay make sure we got that right centered okay and with the large ball of your stylus you want to score this at one and one quarter on on the long side one and a quarter okay and then you want to score it at five and three quarters and then you're going to turn this and on both sides you're going to just score it at three quarters of an inch yeah, I looked everywhere for um, envelopes to size a four and a quarter card, and I could not find it anywhere. That's one. That's three quarters of an inch, not one and a quarter. Yeah, three quarters of an inch. And so this is why I am making my own envelopes for this card. Envelope for this card. Okay. So now that I've got this all. Um, scored what I need to do is I need to take some scissors um, I think I'm gonna take some bigger scissors here uh, just because I need to cut a little bit of a long way <laughs> we're not the top part here you are gonna cut these two little rectangles on the top but you also need to cut these long rectangles on the bottom and so I'm just gonna go right on the one side of the score line you want to make sure you're cutting the score line off completely. So I'm going on this side of the score line. And then I'm going to just miter in right here on that edge. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to go on the, the right side of that score line. And make sure I'm cutting it all off. And miter in a little bit right there okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these two uh, smaller rectangles on the the top of the envelope I'm still cutting off this where the score line is I'm making sure that there's no score line left when I cut that off okay and on the same the same on this side here So your envelope should look like this okay let's get rid of all of this here and now I'm going to round the corners now normally if I was making this with regular cardstock I would use my detail trio punch because it has a really nice corner rounder on it but I noticed that this trio punch is is better when you have a really really thick cardstock or just like regular cardstock uh, it, it doesn't want to seem it doesn't seem to want to cut cleanly on just regular copy paper 
or even this thick stuff. So I brought out a different kind of corner right around to here. It does it isn't a Stampin' Up, but the one that Stampin' Up did sell, they retired. So now I'm going to just go ahead and fold this. So I'm going to fold this one flap here so that I can corner around this this side right here. And I'm going to fold this flap so I could do the corner round right here. Now I want I also want to fold this flap down so that I could do the corner right here. I just want to make it look nice and neat. So th these flaps are still are going to be seen when the when you open the envelope. So basically it's going to be um, we're going to be folding it like this. It's okay. But what I want to do first is I want to fold this one, this flap in first and then fold the flap over on the sides. And that's just to make sure that um, that when I do finally glue this together, and that's what I'm going to do right now, that this flap does not overlap the flaps on the side. Okay, now I'm just going to take my bone folder and make sure I have got nice adherence on the top two. There we go. All right, now I'm going to use some snail adhesive on the, the bottom flap here, and I'm just going to put two lines of snail adhesive on each side, or one line on each side. And we're just going to smooth that up here. And now for the top part, I'm just going to take a piece of Terran tape and uh, when I get ready to uh, to close the envelope, I'll just remove, uh, I, I'm looking for the beginning, there it is. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, peel off the backer paper when I get ready. And so if you want to make a set of these cards, you know, you do this and you send, you send this without removing this backer paper and the recipient can remove the back of paper. Now I'm going to be very, no, nope, I don't think I'll be able to do that. I think I'm going to need to have to, I'm going to have to cut it because if I try to tear it, <laughs> it's going to, um, it's going to tear the envelope and I don't want it to do that. I'm just going to round that edge right there. Okay. So now my envelope is done and it will fit a card. This is the card I'm going to be stamping on. You see that? And it fits it perfectly. Okay, so this is just going to be a one layer card. So let's get started on making the card. Uh, the stamp sets, I'm going to be using, there's three of them, but I'm I'm only going to be using the thank you from the, the Path of Petals. I really like that little thank you uh, design or that thank you sentiment. We're going to be use, using this little flourish right here from the Fanciful Fragrance. And we're also going to be using this border here from the Fanciful Fragrance. And now this is the stamp set that I haven't brought out in a while. It's called Make a Difference. And I noticed that it's not just, you know, letters and, and, uh, and little words here. There's a little tiny little leaf right there. There's also a, a kind of like a flourish underline here. I don't know what they call those things. I just call them underlines with a little flourish on them. And I've, I've pulled those out to help with my design. Okay, so I have everything positioned in my Stamparatus, okay? And the first thing that I want to do is uh, do the bolder stamps. And then we'll come back in with the, uh, with the other um, photopolymer stamps. <clears throat> now, I really don't need this pad when I'm using the... Um, uh, the cling stamps here, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it, use it anyway. I'm going to be using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, but I do have a smaller version of it. Um, uh, this is something I, I got at, um, oh, I think it was Joann's or something. It, it came in a package and <clears throat> it's the same ink. So it, and it is a lot easier for me to, to grab this 
and stamp on here than this because I get ink everywhere when I do that, when I use the big pad. Okay, so I, I've got this positioned. You see right here, I've got it positioned right here and right here so that when I put my, my card in at the corner, I am going to just make sure that I have this down right here. Oh, wait, where do I want this? I think I, I think I want this right here on this corner here. Okay, <laughs> now we're just going to go ahead and ink up our stamps. And every time we stamp down, we're going to make a turn until we got all four edges stamped up really good, really nicely. And I love this Stamparatus because if you don't get it right the first time, you have a second chance, second, third, and fourth chance to stamp it down. And look how beautiful that is. Okay, so... Let's turn this around. Okay, I notice I got a little bit of ink here, but I'm going to use my sander block. And I know why that happened. What I think I'm going to do is, I didn't start out with a really clean stamp. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that all the sides of this stamp are nice and clean. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply more ink. See, even with the small ink pad, I still get ink on the on the little plastic piece, the plates. Okay, I think we're good. Put that there. And let's stamp that down. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, let's turn this around again. Put our magnet right there. Ink it up. Stamp it down. Turn this around. And repeat for the fourth time. Now you could use a color, of course, any color you want on here. I just like the look of the black and the white on the Whisper White cardstock. It just looks so clean. That is if you don't get on any other spots on here. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this over because I want to stamp uh, again with that little underline. And I've got the thank you on this block on this side, but I'm not done with the frame. I have that little tiny little leaf that I need to stamp. So I am going to ink that up. And you see how I have it positioned right here in the corner? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move my magnet here. I'm gonna move it out to here. There we go. And so we are going to stamp that little leaf right there on the corner, and we're gonna turn our, our card around and do it another three more times to get that little cute element right there on the corner. Okay. Now this can be, this little method of, of uh, doing the border and the corners and everything can be done with any stamp sets you have. Just make sure that they're small and make sure you position them correctly. Um, use scrap paper first, that's what I did. I, I just did it on scrap paper uh, to see if I've got everything positioned correctly. And I did, so. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is the thank you. So I'm gonna turn this around. Now, I, I had the thank you positioned for another stamp. So what I need to do is I need to bring this down a half an inch on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to put my magnet here. And I'm going to make sure that it is straight on the bottom. Okay. And we are going to stamp our thank you. And that should be sort of right in the middle. Okay. And 
then what we're going to do is we are going to stamp our little underline flourish element and that's supposed to go right underneath the thank you and it does see this is why you need scrap paper to position everything so that you've got everything just right now isn't that pretty isn't that, that these stamps are just absolutely gorgeous and I got so excited when I did this and it's just a one layer card okay so now what I can do is I can get out a block and I think I'll get this stamp and I'll put it on a block here and that that way we can decorate the envelope and the inside yes I think I want to decorate the inside and I'm just going to put this right here on the inside right there and I'm going to do the same thing for the envelope just maybe put one on the corner of the envelope right here okay and now I'm done I've got my little thank you card ready to be filled out and I have it ready to send out to whoever I want to thank and I do want to thank my customers that's for sure so I may be making a set of these as thank you cards for my customers that came shopping with me in August so I hope that I've taught you something I hope you enjoyed the video and if you need any of the tools and the supplies that I used in this video please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net. I'd be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. So once again, I am Jeanette with Geoamazing Papercrafts. And don't forget, all the supplies are going to be listed in the description of this video. <laughs> so once again, you make it a great day. Bye-bye.